Thanks for joining us here for the kids. I'm Carly Gaddy, Student Wellness and Family Facilitator in the Fargo Public Schools. And I'm Cassie Larson, the School Counselor at Eagles Elementary School in Fargo. And we have a special guest today to kick off our fall yes. season of Here for the Kids. We have Mr. Jackie Schultes here. We have Dan Schultes, Assistant Principal and Activities Director at North High School here in Fargo. Welcome. Glad to be here. Awesome. And so we invited Dan today because we've been talking so much about COVID and what can we do to um, kind of restore mental health, right? Like we're having um, all this COVID fatigue and we know that physical fitness and activities are something that really helped to um, bring balance to our body, to calm and um, alleviate some mental health concerns and also are just really important for, for um, staying healthy and active. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So Dan, we were hoping you could tell us more about, because um, there are probably parents listening to this who may be unaware of what type of activities are available in the Fargo Public Schools, and they may think it's limited to either athletics or music and not realizing um, there's a lot out there. there. There is. And, you know, I could probably spend a lot of time on this topic, but, you know, being a former coach and then going into this role as an activities coordinator, the biggest part of activities and FPS is just the promotional part of it, just knowing where to go what to look for, what's available. Um, we try to do that at each one of our individual schools, but collectively trying to give out the same information. Uh, so me, I was previously at Discovery Middle School and that was sixth grade through eighth grade. And sixth grade was primarily intramural sports. And those were obviously communicated out to our, our families as far as what was available. Um, and then you get into the seventh and eighth grade programs which is a sanctioned program, seven through 12, um, which includes all of our kids, high school and middle school. But it ranges from um, varsity sports to sub varsity to sophomore, which we refer to as our C squad, and then mm -hmm. our freshman teams. And that's just the athletic side of the, of the coin, but we also have music opportunities for our students, both within the school and then after school programs. Um, we also have our drama, our theater arts. Uh, so then, those programs are still communicated and, and promoted through our directors or our coaches. And so they use the websites to get that information out. Uh, but then we also have non-curricular clubs um, that are student driven. And so we have a link on our website for our non-curricular clubs. And just this year, I think uh, I've had three or four different individuals, students that have come up and said, you know what, I'd like to start this club. And we, there's a a form that they fill out and then we just find a, a time, a space for them to meet and they communicate that out to our student body and uh, it's driven by the students. So it's a pretty cool uh, experience for them to be able to, to offer something um, outside of the athletic and, and performing arts uh, world. So that's kind of what we do. And uh, I'll tell you this year has been um, uplifting because the you could tell that the students are excited to be back. Um, our attendance at games have gone through the roof. Um, people are excited to watch games, partake in the games, and just that pride um, is back. And I think we just want to build off that. Um, and the kids are excited. And um, so it's just, it's been a fun fall so far. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I love so many things about what you just said. Like first that you're talking about um, all these other clubs and activities, not just sports, yep. but also that you use the word uplifting because I'm not sure if everyone feels uplifted at this time mm -hmm. of the year. Um, and so I, I love that you're feeling the energy from all these activities at, at school. Well, it is. It, it's, it's a tough time and, and, you know, there's frustration on both sides of what's happening, but you know, you got to kind of push that aside and just what's what's happening. And our kids are active They're The opportunities are there. So let's let's take advantage of that and just enjoy it. And, you know, we'll get through this however long it takes. But uh, the kids are adapting to what's going on really well. So mm -hmm. let's just keep that going. Yeah, that's great. Well, and what if, um, you know, I encourage parents to stay involved, right? Like they maybe don't know that they can get school announcements sent to their email, they can watch them on the school's YouTube channel, ways like that to um, find out information about activities and signups. But um, 
what if there's a parent listening who's like, you know, my child is really interested in, I don't know, uh, basketball, winter sport, but they've never played basketball before. And maybe they're a ninth grader. Like, is it, is it too late to join at that point? Like, what would you say to parents? Like, is there a time where they're like, oh, maybe I've missed, I've missed the window of opportunity. Yeah, that, that happens all the time. And it's the one thing I would say, it's never too late. And mm -hmm. being a former head coach, you know, especially basketball, when, when at the varsity level, there's unfortunate, there's cuts and decisions are made and right, wrong or indifferent. That's just what the nature of the sport is. And um, I've had many um, athletes that have come through that. Maybe it was their first time, or maybe they were put on the 9B team and eventually over time, they ended up being a, a starter uh, for me on the varsity team. So nobody can really determine that other than um, the individual themselves. So the opportunities are there. Um, mm -hmm. I always say stick with it because you never know what can happen. And, uh, but there's also more than just that. There's more opportunities out there. They just need to, to take a look and ask questions. And that's mm -hmm. biggest thing would be contact your local or to contact your activities coordinator at, or just look at the website um, under the athletic or activity portion. There's everything is listed there for them. That's great. Maybe we could link that to this, Carly, when we're done. Yeah. And I know, so from the, we're talking middle school and, and high school, and I'm just going to chime in that dependent on your elementary building, um, there are activities available too. I know over here in our building, we do after school gym, um, but I think certain schools, you know, have different levels of, of activities. Um, yeah. So certainly just reach out to your elementary school if you're an elementary listener and you're curious about what kind of organizations they have in place. Mm -hmm. Yep, and there's many, there's a lot of programs right now that are run through the high school uh, that are reaching down to those lower levels. So a lot of that information can be seen or connected to their website um, as far as when that's happening. I know we're in the fall here, but going towards the winter and spring, there's going to be summer opportunities for our youth to, to be involved. So awesome. You know, Dan, as a former coach and active and now you're the activities director, what kind of benefits do you see activities playing in, in kids' life? Oh, it's, it, you know, the social emotional is talked about quite a bit nowadays. And, and I mean, that's what it, it boils down to is it's an alternate uh, form of uh, just a release to be able to get away from what's happening from that eight o'clock to three thirty. Um, you know, we always say it's a privilege, not a right, but it's, it's one of those things where uh, you can just see the kids excelling. Uh, maybe school is tough. Maybe some of those stressors are happening during the day, but then that hour and a half or two hours of spending that time with that group, um, they learn so many different life lessons. Um, and I think that is just important for them to uh, be, first be a part of, um, go through some of those adversity um, components that athletics and performing arts provide um, for our students, but it's just an outlet for them to be themselves outside of what the school day provides. And also probably a motivator to do well in school too, to participate in these activities, especially as we get older. We do. And, and you know, at the high school, we do grade checks. Um, so it really provides a structure for those students. If they're motivated, they're going to be motivated to keep their grades at a certain level. Um, and then sometimes that carries through for the rest of the year. So maybe they're only a part of a fall sport, but yet they continue that, that motivation throughout the remainder of the year. And uh, so that helps, especially those kids, especially at the middle level, when we're starting to do those grade checks every two weeks. Mm -hmm. And it's a great way to feel connected to your school mm -hmm. as well, right? To feel part of your school community. Yep. Uh, one thing I'm wondering about too is, um, I mean, I do feel like in Fargo Public Schools, we are so, um, you know, we have this great, right? You mentioned music, theater, athletics. We have, a wide, and clubs, um, a wide variety of, of many different things for our students to be interested in. Some of those activities require payment on part of families. If that's a barrier, what do you, what do you suggest for families if it's a barrier for them to participate? You know, they can't pay the activity fee or whatever yep. might be associated with it. Yeah, we, we have both at the middle and the high school, we have a fee waiver form that um, families can reach out to their 
um, main office just to double check and see if, if that is a struggle or if that's a concern. Um, we do have uh, an application piece that families can fill out and then either uh, be fully waived or half waived depending on um, the situation. So those opportunities are there. Awesome. Great. Great. Thank you, Dan, so much for your time today. And uh, I'm, I'm realizing we forgot to express our gratitude at the beginning oh of our show for the first time ever, but I'm grateful <laughs> to have you here. And um, also feeling just really grateful for all these activities. I have a, a house of really busy kids. We do lots of um, sports and it's just a really fun way to develop relationships with others. And even, even for the adults, we've developed some relationships and, and ties to our community. And so I highly recommend it to others. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I um, am a proud alumni of the Fargo Public Schools, right? But um, <laughs> I would say when I think back on my school experience, particularly high school, some of my best memories are from the, not from the classroom, but from the activities that I was involved with, right? And building those relationships with, with teammates and coaches, um, just really, um, and to your point, Dan, really taught life lessons about um, hard work and dedication and time management, all of these skills that um, we want our students to leave Fargo Public Schools with, because um, we know it'll help them on whatever comes next for them. Yeah. 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 Well, and, and to, to kind of speak to that is, I don't know, before I came back to North, I previously was here as a, a teacher and a coach, and um, I'm just grateful for the North um, community and, and staff and the students. They have welcomed me back to the school, and, and it's, it's no easy task. It's, it's been a busy time. Um, I'm excited. I just, I'm, I'm just excited to be back uh, working with our, our students here at North and, and the faculty. So I just wanna say thank you to those uh, individuals that have uh, brought me back in with open arms, so. Awesome, that's great. Well, thank you again for joining us here today, Dan. And um, if you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any um, questions or a topic you would like Cassie or I or here for the kids to address, please, please reach out to us. Thank you. Have a great Thanks. day. Thank you.